In this video, I'll talk about one of the most basic word combinations in English. Subject and verb. A sentence has to have a subject and a verb, but a clause also has to have a subject and a verb. A clause might not be a sentence. It's important to pay attention to the subject and the verb because they have to agree with each other. This is often very evident in the present tense. For example, he eats. This is in the present tense. The subject is singular and the verb is singular. It's not as evident if you put this verb in the past tense and you say he ate, but they still do agree and they do match. Here's the subject and then here's the verb. A subject can be a noun, like a person. For example, if we use the word Mark, the name of a man, or the pronoun that represents a man, he, or you can use a verbal as a subject. For example, swimming. This is a gerund. These are subjects. And the verb that matches, let's say if it's in the present tense, Mark is a man. Or he is a student. These match the verb. The verb is be, but it changes in the present tense to match the subject. And this gerund can also use this same verb. Swimming is fun. If you don't match the subject and the verb properly, your English will sound strange. He is a student. This is in the present tense. This is the verb be. And these two match. Singular, singular. If I change it to a plural pronoun, they, this would change to are. And I'll use the plural form for student. Students. So plural subject, plural verb, subject and verb, they match. Or we often say that they agree. We have subject, verb, in agreement. Subject verb agreement is important in questions and negatives. Does she like it? Here we have to pay attention to the helping verb. Here's the subject. This is the helping verb. And here's the main verb. So you really have to pay attention to the helping verb to make sure that the subject and the verb are in agreement. In this statement, here's the subject. And this is negative. She doesn't like it. If you used a different helping verb, for instance, don't, this is the wrong choice. It doesn't match the subject. It's very important to pay attention to the helping verbs in questions and negatives. She leaves. Here's the subject and then here's the verb. I can add on to this prepositional phrases. She leaves for work. We have a preposition and a noun. In the morning. There's a preposition and here's a noun. So there are two prepositional phrases after she leaves. She leaves for work. Preposition, noun. In the morning. Here's a preposition and here's a noun. But at the core of the sentence is this combination, the subject and the verb. 
Notice that the verb can take many different forms and different tenses. The subject can remain the same, but here's the verb. And then when you have more than two words in the verb, we call this the verb phrase. She is leaving. She will leave. She should leave. Or she should have left. And that's a sentence. Here's the subject, and then all of this is the verb or verb phrase.